Hi, my name is Marianne and I work here with Nels. Um, just a quick little video today about using Nels with iPad for download content. My friend Sarah is an iPad user and she's a patron at Seashell Public Library here in BC. Yes. So she's low vision and she's just going to do a quick little demo for us about how you can use um, apps and iPad for Nels. Here is the Nels home screen once you get there off the Nels.ca website. And now I've just gone into the search engine to search for a book. We're searching for everything on a waffle. Great BC author, Polly Horvath book. This is what the screen is going to look like before you do the download. And now I'm going to do the download. And, and because Sarah's already logged in with her Seashell card before, her uh, basic Safari browser here is just remembering her login. Yes. And so people often say to me, how long does it take to download a book from Nels? Well, it does depend on what device you're using, what network you're on. It can take um, like maybe three to four minutes to download a book sometimes, roughly about the same amount of time as it takes to walk to the shelf and pick the book off the shelf and then walk to the checkout and try to get it checked out. The book that we're doing right now is a little bit of a smaller file because it's a, a, a shorter juvenile no, uh, novel, so the download is running pretty quickly to download the DAISY file. Now on the iPad that Sarah uses, she has, a, what's the app called? Voice Stream. Voice Stream, and that's a text-to-speech app that handles a lot of different content for users. And so Voice Stream's installed, and that will do two things. It'll actually unzip the file, um, all the um, MP3 files inside the bundle from the download the DAISY file uh, from Nels. And then she can actually run uh, the content in the player yes. that is a part of Voice Stream. So it's just downloading online right now. And for those who want to be able to read it in Braille, they can do the same similar thing we're doing right now with a memory stick, once they've downloaded it onto the memory stick, they can then withdraw the memory stick from the desktop or laptop computer and then insert it into their braille display and then read the same book that those with reading audio will read, hear the voice over, read to them. And so we've just had our download finish. This is what the page looks like. So on the left here, you want to click the open into voice stream and I have just done that now this is what it's going to look like now now that it's transferred over to voice stream and it's just quickly loading up the file and so patrons like Sarah who are um, very able-bodied, uh, low vision, but still print disabled library card holders and participate in NELS. Um, use apps like this. We're supporting uh, patrons across the country with whatever app they're bringing in on whatever device meets their needs. Yes. She does a lot of her reading in large print, so obviously the iPad is kind of the go-to reading device for Sarah because she's doing a lot of large font. But when she is also using audio content, uh, it's great to have a little app um, that we're familiar with in the library like VoiceDream. Yes. And so um, I think that was our little public service announcement on how easy it is to do that for a librarian and a patron with the NELS website. Yes. If you have any questions, you can always reach us at support at NELS.ca. And thanks. Or if you're looking for books, just go to NELS.ca and search for books that way. Thank have you. Have a great day.